What's one thing you're staying alive for? I wanna at least outlive the Simpsons. Like I can't let the Simpsons outlive me. 70 years from the 100th season premieres. We see P in their nursing home the TV just let me effing die already. To become someone I can respect, you have my respect, just for putting that thought into words. Great now he has nothing to live for. I'm still very curious about the world, and how things might pan out. This would be nice I'm still really interested in scientists revealing more of the secrets of the world like what hidden in our oceans or outer space. I wish I could live forever, just to see the mysteries of the universe. This is what I came to say I want to see what we discover it's actually the most frustrating part about death to me not getting to know everything we will discover to find a reason to all not to. I really liked a quote from Viktor Frankl the meaning of my life is to help others find meaning in this. His book is great how purpose can literally change whether you live or die and the quality of life is an amazing idea would definitely recommend it to everyone. And it's not too long either. I really don't know, valid I don't know, why I'm here I don't know what I'm doing with my life given that I'm alive I don't know what to look forward to maybe it will become known to me and to you. Perhaps that is a reason, to stay alive in itself not, because there is something to live for, but because you are yet to find that something, I feel you, same here. Spite, outliving my enemies is the only satisfaction I need, I'd be so pissed if I died before my evil twin. Kill them problem solved, and you can die happy. No 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 we'd probably just end up killing each other in some star-crossed Jojo destiny bullshit, or whatever even worse. If it were me, I would probably just get confused, and kill myself cause I look just like my twin. I'm staying alive, because I'm afraid of what happens. After we die I guess I'm scared of the unknown. This I'm staying alive, because I'm hoping that one day I will no longer be scared to die maybe I'll be scared forever maybe not it's worth a shot. Edit, not in a suicidal way, like scared of the afterlife whatever that is there's always going to be a healthy amount of fear towards it. Not about the act of getting there purposefully, as my great grandmother told me, before she kicked off into the unknown you'll spend your whole life afraid to die, and if you get lucky, and get the chance, to be really old you'll be ready to die she lived to be 98, and was very ready. Arthritis. Back pain hearing loss failing eyesight, but a very clear mind until the end. I just really enjoy paying taxes. Huh? I don't need a partner the government f's me in the ass every day. Oh, no. Uncle Sam sneaks in your room again. And that's why I sleep pantsless easy access. Right, I'ma head out. I saw a post about a cat crying at his owner's grave. My cat licks my feet when sleeping she would definitely eat me if I slept for more than 24 hours. I've had two cats for the past decade the oldest one Mufasa found super tiny on the side of the road as a kitten. She would get straight up depressed, sulk and eat less, if I wasn't around just barely tolerated other people, but I'm lucky enough to be the only human she ever loved. She passed away a couple months ago me, and my younger cat Mema are just hanging on best we can now, sorry for your loss, as a cat owner that lives alone I've begun to have a slight fear that my cat will eat part of my body before anyone notices I'm gone. So my goal is to outlive my cat. One fear of death to my girlfriend 3 I want a pet crab, get yourself a pet crab my friend that'd be dope as hell, if you get the crab take a selfie with it on your head. Bread, I love bread. The idea of not knowing what tomorrow brings. It is exciting, and makes life more interesting and less boring. To hopefully one day feel loved by someone other than my own mom lol. To see the woman my daughter becomes. I believe life is meaningless as in I'm not on this earth for a specific purpose, and since there is no inherent expectation of me, I can do whatever makes me happy and that is what I live for. My little brother he's mentally disabled, but is the sweetest human being ever. I almost did it once, but I started to reconsider and stop when I thought about how he would be if I was gone. After a very near death experience this year. I love being alive, and appreciate every day it's changed me for the better. Aliens, hopefully. The McRib. 
came here for ideas, the James Webb Space Telescope should be launching soon and might give us men blowing new images of deep space that's something. I mean it's supposed to have been launching soon for 5 plus years now, it's been keeping him living for 5 plus years then. 5 years is an understatement the project started before I was born with an expected launch date of 2007. I've never been so nervous for a launch. My neurotic dog would be so upset if I died. My dog was heartbroken when the rabbit died and she's attached to me like velcro I can't imagine how she would handle losing me definitely for the dog. Pets have a way of doing that you're their only protector you are their guardian in a way they depend on you and you can't let them down. Because even though life is probably pointless it's the only game in town I may as well play it, this is 100% my mindset we've already paid the entry fee may as well see where it goes suffering is temporary and we're all ending up in the same place eventually honestly. I'd love to see how everything unfolds just out of curiosity I wanna know how far humanity makes it what kind of things happen etc. If I died the simulation would end and all of you simulations would die therefore I live to keep all you imaginary people alive you're welcome thank you for being a figment of my imagination one day I'd spit in the face of the aliens who created this to keep me imprisoned and I guess I'll just leave you all in your fishbowl. I read a terrifying Australian short story like this where a boy didn't want to wake up from a dream because it meant everyone in it would die. Edit, I'm not doing it justice it was just awful to see him have to decide between staying asleep or waking up and thus killing the brother he didn't actually have the brother's nickname was possum and I'm sad again. Link's awakening basically, that is also the premise of a Legend of Zelda game. This is like the Lovecraft universe the most powerful guy has to be kept asleep because he is dreaming up the universe and if he wakes up everyone dies. Curiosity mainly, this taking genuine pleasure in learning about the world the cosmos makes me feel like the time here is worth living. A very optimistic version, but yeah pretty much. Yeah I kinda want to see how everything goes to shit. While watching technology improve and all those new movies music video games and TV shows I wish to see as much as I can in my life with a morbid curiosity about humanity. Sadly, dooming itself and a fascination with the era I live in. I like to think that I'm here for a reason and I just hope to benefit humanity for the better somehow like designing something that helps clean the earth from trash and clean oceans or making people's lives better by bringing them some smiles all after I think as long as you make someone smile or making someone happy you're already in the process of benefiting the world. Small acts of kindness change the world. Sometimes it's hard to recognize how impactful you are to others but honestly your soul is cherished by more people than you'll ever know. Myself. The fact that I've always had my own back and always will. I'm the one most reliable person that I can always count on I've been at extremely low points and loving me was the only way out anything external can be taken away or lost but I will always have myself. To make music. You have found Drowning Doggo. You can only save Doggo by subscribing and liking the video.